Now, as I'm sure you can imagine, there are many people working around the clock behind the scenes to bring the communist daughter to life. To introduce you one of them, we go now to our WNED field reporter, Rod McNeil. Over to you, Rob. Ah, Jim and Natalie. Hi. I'm Rob McNeil, and I'm here inside the props trailer with our props manager, Jane Doe. Hi, Jane. Now, in your capacity as props manager, you must come across all kinds of rare, fascinating Soviet objects. Uh, what can you tell me about here? Uh, I can neither confirm nor deny my involvement as props manager, and also this conversation that we're having never happened. Understood. I'll just signal to our camera person to stop recording. All right. Now, which one of these neat objects can you tell me about? Uh, well, I did manage to get, uh, through very normal means, this typewriter, the executive typewriter. Ah, looks like an authentic Soviet-made typewriter. Well, it's American-made. I Amer see. For America. Well, I'd imagine you could transmit secret messages back to Russia? I, it's a typewriter, so I guess you could write about Russia, if you liked that. Okay, um, what about this uh, crock pot or one of these little red books? Uh, well, I, I, I really shouldn't show you this, but I do have some authentic Mitroshka dolls. Uh, each doll contains a slightly smaller doll. Huh. I'd huh? imagine you'd pick this up at a market in St. Petersburg. Now, how'd you manage to smuggle this into the country in the middle of such an intense political detente between Soviet Union and the West? Well, I, I can't say where I got it, but it rhymes with Judson's J. Jumpany. I see. Um, what about this, uh, ooh, a dossier, perhaps uh, no, from the no. spy subplot? I see some identification papers in here for one Svetlana Bodeshevich, personal ballerina to Mikhail Gorbachev. Is that a photo of you? Not for the show. Very well, that's all the time we have here from the props trailer. I'm joined by Jane Doe. Uh, special thanks to Jim and Natalie. Back to you. I need you to help my family. You are a rich boy with soft face. 